Alright, welcome back everybody, my name is Pratesh here with Kaizen Crypto, bringing you another video. So I hope you guys are all doing well, thank you all so much for joining me here today. In this video, Charles Hoskinson announces the Merry Hard Fork for February. So this network upgrade is intended to integrate native asset functionality on the blockchain. A big congratulations for Project Catalyst Fund 2 winners. 11 projects will receive funding to help advance the Cardano ecosystem. Sharing with you some details regarding these projects and taking a look at a spreadsheet going over the voting results. Lots of interesting information here and some things to learn as we go forward with Project Catalyst. Cool things to talk about here in this video today. All of that coming up right after our sponsor. Our sponsor for today's video is Kind Stake Pool. Kind Stake Pool is a charity stake pool, every month giving back 25% of their operating fees to a deserving charity. This month for January, to celebrate the Cardano DevNets, Kind Pool is giving away $200. This is a lottery allowing delegators to win up to $200 depending on their delegation. More details can be found on their website at kindstakepool.com. And if you're interested in participating in this lottery, be sure to delegate to Kind Stake Pool, ticker K-I-N-D. Thank you so much to Kind Stake Pool for sponsoring today's video. So to get things started, Charles Hoskinson gave an update talking about the Merry Hard Fork Combinator event, which is set for February of 2021. This next upgrade is the next step in the phased rollout release for Gogan. This Hard Fork Combinator event will integrate native asset functionality on the blockchain. What we saw before this was the Allegra hard fork. This hard fork combinator event was the network upgrade needed for token locking. With this Mary upgrade, we will see the added multi-token functions. We'll also see native assets and the added infrastructure for the extended UTXO model. I'm really excited about this network upgrade as I think that there is a lot of cool things to be built simply with this functionality being integrated. Things like DeFi, we're gonna to start to see the protocol being used for many more applications applications. I'm excited for things like NFTs, things like Kaizen token, right? There's going to be a whole bunch of cool things that we can do now that we have this functionality on the blockchain. So this is just one of the next steps needed for a full Gogan release. Most likely, we're anticipating a full Gogan release by the end of Q1 of 2021. I feel like the cadence that is happening with the development now for Cardano, it is definitely keeping a steady pace, and I'm really excited to see what's to come in the very near future. Another thing to look forward to is the D parameter expected to reach zero in March. This decentralization metric indicates the block production of the entire network. When D equals zero, 100% of the blocks will be minted by community stake pools. So lots of exciting things happening. Cardano will be fully decentralized, as well as have the added capability of smart contracts with Gogan. This Merry Hard Fork Combinator is the next step in that release. I wanted to also share some information in regards to Project Catalyst. So a big congratulations to the first winning proposals for Project Catalyst. Out of the proposals that were submitted for this Fund 2 round, 11 projects will receive funding to help advance the Cardano ecosystem. So a big congratulations Congratulations to everybody who was selected. This fund too gave $250,000 worth of ADA in funding to these 11 proposals. Out of these proposals, we see the Pool Tool platform upgrade. I use Pool Tool almost on a daily basis, so really glad to see this. Opening avenues to build businesses and applications on Cardano that differentiate between stake pool operators by offering additional products. This upgrade is aimed at increasing infrastructure diversity across Cardano. Next is Ouroboros over Rena. So Rena is a network architecture. This is an interesting development. Deploying a proof of concept stake pool and relay solution of Ouroboros over Rena using Ethernet WDM at two sites in Tokyo, Japan. Next is gonna be Haskell, Plutus, and Marlowe Education. This is something that's very important, I think, as it comes to bringing on new developers to start building on Cardano, creating educational content that conveys complex information in a structured way, supplemented with examples that inspire ideas. This proposal makes it easier for new developers and entrepreneurs. So I'm looking forward to that. Myself, personally, I'm really interested in learning more about how to use Haskell, Plutus, and Marlowe to start building on Cardano. So looking forward to that. 
Next is going to be a message signing standard. I think this was from Sebastian. Generating a message signing standard to prove reserves, identity, and stake pool delegation. This was actually the most conservative in terms of the amounted request for funding. So I'm glad this got approved. I think that it's a very viable use case. Next is Liquid. This is a DeFi protocol intended to be built on Cardano, creating an open source non-custodial liquidity protocol to earn interest on deposits and borrow assets on Cardano. Cardano for mobile dApp developers, turning mobile platforms into the first class citizens of the dApp world with mobile SDKs, mobile first dApp experience and app store compatibility. So being able to integrate some of these decentralized applications onto the mobile devices that we have, iPhone, Android, I think that it's very important because these things are almost like extensions of our body, right? You carry your mobile phone with you every day. Having a toolkit with an SDK for developers to easily build applications for mobile very cool use case. Next is Gimbal Labs, starter kits and tools. Gimbal Labs is a startup platform providing free and open source APIs, lessons, and project-based learning resources to help people bring their ideas to life on Cardano, and so to drive the adoption of the blockchain. Very cool. So developers are gonna have lots of tools made available to them to start building these applications. Next is Lovelace Academy for Marlow and Plutus. So another one I'm very excited about as it comes to learning more about being able to develop by learning Plutus and Marlowe, establishing an online academy to attract, inspire, and educate individuals and companies to create applications on Cardano's smart contract and native asset platform. Looking forward to this. I'm very excited to see what they come up with with building this type of content. Next is gonna be signing transactions with the Arduino. This is gonna be Kyle from Frog Stake Pool. We did go ahead and give them a shout out in one of our previous videos. Looking forward to this. Myself personally, I really like to tinker, so seeing something like this is pretty cool. Starting a library for code written in the C programming language that is compatible with the Arduino development environment. Signing local Cardano transactions in advance of smart contracts being available to enable applications for IoT. Would be pretty neat to see a little IoT device, like a single board computer, being able to sign a Cardano transaction. Looking forward to that. Next is gonna be the Pet Registry DAP and Ada Pay, helping developers accept Ada payments on websites. The Pet Registry DAP built on Ada Pay will service a global audience in a cheaper, better way. Devs are inspired by successful apps and the tools needed to build them. By creating both, we can inspire and accelerate devs and their solutions. Absolutely, I think that this is a very viable use case. Full transparency, this wasn't one of the proposals that I had on my list, but nonetheless, I'm very glad that it got funded because I think as it comes to bringing a about mainstream adoption, just thinking about the amount of transactions that happen online, having a way to accept payments on websites, very viable use case. So looking forward to that as well. And lastly, Japan Cardano Governance Association, meetings and communities and podcasts, supporting online offline meetups, governance podcasts, etc. for our Japanese community. Really cool to see this. We love Japan. Cardano, of course, you guys know, has a huge market in Japan. So I think that this is incredible to see as far as bringing more awareness and education for that community. So big congratulations to everybody who did get their proposal funded. I'm excited to see what is to be built with these projects. I wanted to take a look at a spreadsheet that we see here for this fun two round for Project Catalyst. If you do wanna check this out, I'll be sure to leave a link for you all down in the description below. But essentially what we can see here at the top page, we can see the proposals that did receive funding. We can see the amount of ADA that was voted up and voted down. And we can also check out the link for their proposal. So we've got all those proposals here listed in the front page. And we've got some more details in regards to how the voting system actually works. Now, I like how this is laid out because it makes things pretty easy to look at and kind of categorize what I'm viewing here. So you see the proposal name on the left side. We can see the amount of USD value in ADA that has been requested by each specific proposal. We also see the amount of upvote and downvote that each proposal had received, as well as the amount of funds remaining within this allocation for fund two, should that proposal get funded. On the very right side, we see the status of the proposal. The ones that are green, that say funded, of course, have been funded. Those guys will be receiving those funds. The ones in yellow have not been funded, but they still did receive enough community votes. So if you're any of these proposals, if you've submitted 
for fun too. Like I see ABCD, I was definitely in support of them. Bringing blockchain development for Africa, also decentralized cloud platform, the Cardano Aura podcast, you know, lots of cool proposals that I did support. It's just that with the fun too, there wasn't enough capital allocated in order to have all of these proposals funded. So just a suggestion, if you didn't necessarily receive funding this go around, not to worry, there is going to be a fund three. Fund three is going to allocate $500,000 worth of ADA to fund proposals. So scrolling down the list here, we can see, I did see Kaizen Crypto podcast, didn't necessarily get the approval from the community. So that's how it goes. Uh, nonetheless, we'll try again in fund three and uh, hoping we can receive some support from the community. I just wanted to share this with you all. I think it's pretty interesting to see this. I really would recommend that you check it out. It's pretty cool to see all this information laid out here. So again, a big congratulations to those proposals who did receive funding for the Fund2 round $250,000 worth of ADA to help advance the Cardano ecosystem. So excited about what's happening here with Project Catalyst and voting. A big thank you to the entire team who's been working tirelessly, particularly Dorga Bosch, the product manager for Project Catalyst has been putting in quite a few hours. So congratulations to everybody who is seeing this through. We are part of history. Really incredible to be on this journey with you all. All right, everyone. So that is what I have for you all here in this video today. I really do hope that you enjoyed it. Hope that you did find some value from it. If you did, please be sure to drop a like for me before you go today. And I will see you all in the next video. Take care.